What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Leo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the, smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for Sana Leo. This is going to have Leo in any, any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midnight with Jupiter charts. Don't forget, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate with the rest. Um, bonus reading for Sana Leo for July 2022. Happy birthday to all my Leos. Just saying, just saying, saying. I'm a Leo son myself, so 723 is the beginning of uh, y'all's birthdays. So happy birthday if that resonates for you, Leo. Just saying, just saying. Uh, yeah. If you'd like to donate this High Priestess Show 5, the link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash, I'm no Venmo. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node signs for additional message or messages. If they do apply for you. These are psychic, intuitive, uh, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug the message or messages into your own specific story situation, how they resonate. If they do resonate and apply for you, Leo. Love you guys. Just saying, I did receive some channelings for your sign. So let me um, deliver those. Of course, only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so the first channel message I received was someone is trying to get a specific reaction from you, but they're not getting it and it pisses them off. That was the first one. Someone is trying to get a specific reaction from you and they're not getting it and it pisses them off. So somebody's pissing in their pants, irritated, pissing in their pants because they're trying to basically push your buttons, get your goad, um, push, push your buttons. Um, they want you to react in a certain way. Um, but you're not, and it pisses them off. Well, maybe they should hashtag live free and leave the people, leave people the hell alone. If anybody needs to hear that. I mean, you shouldn't be trying to push people's buttons and get their goes and trying to make them react certain ways so you can say, oh yeah, look at the Leo. Look how they act. But do they ever seem to think it's because they do shash the shit behind the scenes and try to push people's buttons to get them to react certain ways? Like this shit? But whoever you are, you're highly intuitive and you're smart as hell. And you haven't allowed that to happen. So I love you, whoever you are, Leo. Just saying, just saying. That's the, that's the first message, situation one. The second channel message I received was um, a TV show that's about to premiere, premiere soon. Um, is about to tank into the ground. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Um. It's about to benefit you in huge ass ways. They never should have done what they did. Universal justice. It's about to tank in a huge ass way. Oh, Lord. Okay. So a, a TV show that's about to premiere soon. So it hasn't premiered yet. It's about to premiere soon. I'm assuming on like television, television, like probably it might be cable or it might be... Um, not cable, the general channels that, you know, you can hook up to your rabbit ears. Um, how that resonates um, or your, you know, um, TiVo or what have you, what have you. But how that resonates, um, uh, I heard the TV show, it, it's about to premiere soon. It has not premiered yet. I heard it is about to tank in huge ass ways. Um, I heard it's about to benefit you in a huge way. Um, they shouldn't have done what they did. So that's at least for one of you guys. I think they stole your idea or ideas or they tried to copy you in some shape, form, or fashion. I didn't hear any of that. That's just my intu intuitive logic reasoning and take on this. Um, I heard it's about to benefit you in a huge way. They shouldn't have done what they did. So I hope that resonates and applies there, Leo. Um, but the TV show is about to tank into the damn ground. I'll tell you that. So you plug it in how it resonates. We have um, gazelle and elk, bees, angel of string. Huge opportunities are about to open for you in huge, huge, huge ways. Huge opportunities, soon and quickly. Huge, huge, huge opportunities are about to open for you in huge ways, soon and quickly is what I heard. Well... Whoever that's for. So whoever that's for, Leo, huge, huge, huge opportunities are about to open for you soon and quickly, sir, ma'am. You could be, I feel you could be masculine or feminine, Leo. Um, 
some kind of huge opportunities, doors opening, huge opportunities, or I heard huge, huge, huge. So they're not no baby opportunities. They're not like, um, it's not like um, breadcrumbing. It's not like breadcrumbing. It is good, sounds like good, solid, stable, dependable, reasonable, worthy opportunities here. Um, wor worthy of your time, your effort, your value, whoever you are, not breadcrumbing shit. And that's just the truth. Definitely not breadcrumbing. The real deal this time. High vibrational Leo feminine. And a high vibrational Leo masculine 30 and below. Okay, so for at least two of you guys. So for a very, very, very high vibrational Leo masculine 30 and below. And a very, very high vibrational Leo femme. I feel you can be any age Leo femme. But the Leo masculine, I heard he is 30 or below. So, um... Huge opportunities and doors opening, sir. If you are 30 or below high vibrational Leo masculine or a high vibrational Leo femme, I feel of any age. Um, however, that resonates, sir, ma'am. I'm 30. I'm almost 39. I'll be 39 on the 25th. So I get the older woman energy, just saying, just saying. But, you know, I embrace my older woman energy. I'm an old ass woman. Yeah, but okay. So what? There's still a lot of life to live. As soon as I can get my money up and move the hell out of this damn state, I'll be living some life. Just saying, just saying, and get through my child custody battle tentatively on 725 of 2022. Um, my ex-husband keeps putting me through court battle after court battle after court battle. This is like court battle at least five. I think it's more like six or seven. Um, he's got me drug up in legal fees, drug up in legal fees, drug up in legal fees. He knows what he's been doing. He knows what hell he's been doing. And my kids are teenagers, man. Um, I wish he'd just leave us the hell alone. Hashtag live free. But, you know, I'm not him. And the fact that he manipulated my daughter um, when she was about 10 years old, two court situations ago, not the last court situation, which was a couple years ago, he accused me of child abuse. The one before that, when I had a boyfriend about six years ago, I'll tell you this story and then we'll get started. Um, he, uh, manipulated her and had her walk around my rented home at the time. I, not this house. I lived in this house for five years. I'm a first time home buyer in this house. I've been paying mortgage on this house for five years. Still paying mortgage. But in my rented house about six years ago, before I moved to the city, he manipulated her to walk around with the phone he had just recently bought her at the time. Taking pictures of my ex-boyfriend's or a boyfriend at the time stuff um, to prove as evidence of the court of law that I was contempt of court and that I was breaking the court papers because he's all about following the court papers, following the court papers, following the court papers, following the court papers. Um, which I'm all about following the court papers too, but damn, you don't have to shove it through my damn throat every two freaking seconds and that's just the truth. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, anyways, he was, had her take photos and gave them to him so he would have them. But the thing is, is, it never panned out because the man never lived with me. He lived 45 minutes away from me in the city hall, Madison. Um, and he also had her get on a streaming device. I think it was Google Duo, but it could be any other streaming device. And had her um, walk. He was telling her where to walk in my rented space. And then when I, like, I was laying down or I was chilling and I looked up, I saw his face through the cam. Like some creepy, weird creepo. Um looking very carefully in my rented space through the webcam creepy as hell i'm i'm that's just an ex, um example of what i've had to deal with from that man that was two four situations ago not the last one the last one accused me of child abuse but i mean i just want to get through this shit i want to win my kids back because we're in the mcclendon standard right now and i want to move the hell out of this toxic ass state and go and live and Hashtag live free. Go find, move somewhere, rent my space out, find a job wherever I move, put my kids in good schools. Hopefully one day I can afford private school for them and live happy away from this damn state. And that's just the truth. But um, that's just me. But anyways, I digress. But whoever you are, you're a Leo masculine, 30 or below, you're about to get wonderful opportunities. So I don't know if that's business opportunities or employment opportunities or both, sir, but huge opportunities. I, I feel like life, opportunities of a lifetime, sir, you go through bad sales. 
If you're 30 or below, you can have legally any aspects of your charge. That's for one of you guys. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Just saying. Another Leo them. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Um, older Leo feminine. Older Leo them. You're older Leo them. Uh, I feel 35, 36 or above, and you're about to get the same, same too, ma'am. I don't know if this is employment opportunities or business opportunities but whatever they are they're huge 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 like huge like people actually see your worth your value your like they want you like they're not going to try to bread from you they're not going to try to offer you the shit shit on the shoe the bottom of the barrel that kind of shit which trust me i've had that happen to me many times down here in this toxic ass city for me i'm not saying this city is toxic for other people because it's not but it's toxic for me and that's just the truth so that's another reason why i'm moving out 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 number 50 could be a very significant number in one's life number 50 it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life number 50 angel of string number 38 number 30 number 28 number 27 could be very significant as well okay so number 50 uh 38 28 27 and 30 and 27. You have to go back and check the numbers. Those could be significant as well. I feel those could be ages of you um, or somebody you're connected to or any, any other significant number. And number 54 and 52. And number 54 and 52. And number 54 and 52 as well. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, Leo, you have double earth sign energy, Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy. I strongly feel for some you're dealing heavily dealing with earth sign, Taurus Capricorn Virgo. For some, I strongly feel you're dealing with heavy earth sign energy like two or two plus earth signs Taurus Capricorn Virgo because you have double uh earth sign energy you plug it in how it resonates Leo Elk an alcoholic Leo and a drug user Leo Femme is about to run into someone new they have snowed people over in their past, but these people are not going to play around. When these people find out they're an alcoholic and a drug user, they're going to call the police. It's going to create many negative series of shame events for these people. These people cannot manipulate these people like they could the people of the past. The alcoholic Leo is going to try to put hands on somebody. Alcoholic masculine Leo. Oh my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. So, yikes. So we have an alcoholic masculine Leo and a drug user femme Leo. Um, they're about to run into someone new, uh, interact with somebody new, uh, converse with them or hang out with them or I don't know what they're going to do with them, take them out to dinner or come over to their house or what have you, what have you. I don't know. But I heard these people have been able to manipulate the people in their past. So people know they're alcoholics, they know they're drug users, but people, they have manipulated people in their past. So people know they're alcoholics and they're drug users and they just accept it. Well, I guess you can accept it, but I'd never hang out with these people and that's just the truth. But I'm not these people or people connected to these people. But how that resonate? The new person or people they're about to connect with, I heard I ain't gonna take that shit. Once they find out they're an alcoholic or a drug user, because it's alcoholic masculine um, Leo and a uh, drug user fem leo the new person they're about to allow in their energetic space is about to um i heard call the police on them and they will be arrested one of these people has been a, has a history of arrest and it's going to lead to negative series of chain of events for them okay I heard, and they will be arrested and um one of these people has been previously arrested before and it's going to lead to negative series of chain of events for them so one of these people has been previously arrested before. It sounds like one has not, but one has. And it's going to lead to negative series of chain of events for them because the new person they're about to allow in their energetic space is not going to put up with drug using. They're not going to put up with alcoholism. They don't, I mean, I don't blame you. Hell, I'd be the same way. I'm not an alcoholic and I'm not a drug user. I never have been and I never will be because that's just not ingrained in me. I have kids to raise and a life to live and lots of money to make. Um, and alcoholism and drug use, drug use, Drug use just doesn't fit into my life. It never has. And that's just the truth. So 
I can understand where the new person is coming from, is what I'm saying. I heard the masculine uh, Leo alcoholic is going to um, try to put hands, Try, I think try to put hands on the new person. Like domestic violence energy is what I'm feeling, or something of that nature. But how that resonates, I heard this person is going to call the police um, on these people. And it's going to create negative series of chain events for them. One of them has been arrested before. One has not. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, man. You plug it in how it resonates. Yikes. Help. You okay, buddy? Okay. You need anything? Okay. Um, the waters are cool in there. I just got one out, okay? I, I know. You put them in there last night, but I know. I know you did. I know. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, so L. A Leo Femme, high vibrational Leo Femme, is a huge leader in her community and her world. But she has been treated like complete trash. Through many series of chain events, she's about to get a huge leg up through someone she would have never expected. She's going to show huge gratitude for, uh, from this person. And she's going to create a series of chain of events to move herself to a much better place, moving out of state. Well, that's beautiful. Um, so you're a high vibrational Leo Femme. If this resonates for you, you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and value. You're not the Leo Femme drug user over here because you can't be high vibrational if you're over here drinking yourself into a bottle or shooting yourself up with meth or snorting up coke or um, out prostituting yourself to every Tom, Dick, Harry, Sally, Sue, and Joe in your community. And I'm just keeping it 100, okay? That might offend people, piss them off, what have you, what have you, but it's the truth, okay? But however that resonates, um, I heard you've been a leader in your community and your world in the past, but you have been treated like trash from your community. So you have really stepped up and you have done amazing things in your community and your world, Leo, high vibration Leo them. But your community doesn't want you to know that. They don't want you to know you have. Um, they want to keep it secret and hidden and keep you secret and hidden and keep you suppressed and keep you silenced and keep you down like their little punching bag, basically. Um, but someone soon that you would have never expected, and I didn't hear a sign on this person or if they're a man or a woman, but someone soon, upcoming in the universe, someone you would have never expected is basically about to I heard, give you a leg up. And it sounds like it might be a financial leg up or information to create a financial leg up. Somehow the leg up is going to create you series of chain events for you to be able to move out of state. So I think it might be money to move, like pay for a mover or pay for moving or pay for, you know, to pay to be able to move or something of that nature. Uh, it might not be financial. It might be information. But you plug it in how it resonates. But it's about to come from someone you would have never expected, Leo, high vibrational Leo Femme, because they see you as a leader. Um, you have done great things. Whoever you are, you have done great things in your community and your world, I heard. So I think outside your community and inside your community, it's just your community likes to keep you suppressed. But this person upcoming in the universe is about to help you out because they know you're a leader. They know you're a leader. I think they've seen your leadership qualities in the past. Um, or they know you are a good leader or good, um, you're a good decision maker. You are a good, um, leader and discerner of your own life. For some of who you might have child or children, Leo Femmes, high vibrational Leo Femmes, possibly for some, maybe not. But elk in this situation is leadership with the elk, elk antlers. I think you're a natural born leader is exactly what I think. I think you're a natural born leader. A total natural born leader. And this person knows it. They are a neat leader too. A total natural born leader. A total natural born leader. And the person that's about to give you a leg up is a leader as well. And I think they're not of abuse of power kind of leader. Whoever this person is. I didn't hear specifically what kind of occupation they are. 
but I don't think they want to suppress you, silence you, bully you, harass you, target you, retaliate against you. I think that they truly want to help you. I, I feel non-abusive power tactics here. Um, and they are a leader too. So they are in a position of high authority. They wear their elk antlers. They could be an earth sign or have earth in their chart, possibly. Because um, you're pulling double earth energy, um, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. Only this leader knows what sign they are. <laughs> um, and only you know you are going to know who this person is when it happens. It hasn't happened yet. But I will tell you, they definitely uh, love you. Um, they love you, but not in a creepy, obsessive way. Not to want to keep you suppressed, drowned, targeted kind of way. They want to, they love you enough to let you go. You, anybody ever heard the um, term, if you love them, let them go? That's like this, except... Your community loves you like they, I'm sure they might claim they love you, but it's a toxic love. Like whoever you are, I don't think you're growing and manifesting properly where you're, where you are. Um, and I heard you've done great things in the past, but it sounds like you wasn't compensated or um, recognized or um, appreciated for it. Definitely not compensated, recognized or appreciated for it, but you're about to through many, 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 many series of chain of events. Okay, I heard, that's confirmation. So I heard you definitely were not compensated, recognized, or um, appreciated for it in the past. So your community, they claim they love you, but really they don't. Because if they really loved you, they would have let you go a long ass time ago. Let you be free. Like a, um, you know, hashtag live free. Live free to go out and spread your wings and um, get the recognition the, um, the admiration, the re um, compensation you deserve to go out and spread your wings in more areas of the world um, to where you can touch more people's lives, help more people. Um, this community, hell, they are them. Um, you are you. So, I mean, you can only suppress somebody and target somebody and bully somebody for so long, you know? Gazelle. An athlete is about to come very significant in a Leo's life. And a comedian. And a reader. For one, you are a reader. For one, you work in healthcare. For one, you're unemployed. Okay. Uh, an athlete, uh, comedian, and a reader is about to become very significant in Leo's life. Athlete, comedian, reader. For some, you are a reader yourself, um, unemployed, and you are um, and you work in healthcare. So you plug it in how it resonates, but upcoming soon in the universe, an athlete, a comedian, and a um, another reader is about to become significant in y'all's life. If that resonates for you, Leo. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, you got the gazelle energy, so I think um, they might come in fast, with maybe fast communication because the gazelles are fast. Um, they might be earth. Um, they might be earth signs, possibly. Um, you plug it in how how it resonates. Heard athlete, comedian, and another reader. So, uh, for one, you're unemployed. For one, you, uh, so I don't think you feel you have any income coming in. Um, or maybe, maybe public assistance, but I didn't hear that. Maybe for some. Um, but for one, you're a reader. So, um, I think you do it online, publicly, like this. And you get your money on the back end, possibly, for some. Or donations or something. For some, you can be home readers. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, but one, you're unemployed. So, I don't think you bring in any, in, any income or... You um, get public assistance, possibly. I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. And for one, you work in healthcare. Gazelle. Aaliyah Feminine is about to find out she's pregnant with twins. Holy shit, whoa. You plug it in how it resonates, Leo Fem. You're about to find out you're pregnant with twins? 
Oh my god, whoa! There's no babies in my oven, but I'm not you. You plug it in how it resonates. I heard you're about to find out you're pregnant with twins. So your little gazelles are um, incubating in your womb, man. Um, two of those little babies. Woo! You plug it in how it resonates. So twin energy. Um, for one of you guys, um, you got some twins incubating up in there. There are no buns in my oven, nor will they ever be. And that's just the truth. Nay, nay. But congrats who, if you're happy about this. Maybe for some you already know you um are pregnant with twins. Maybe for some you're about to find out. Uh, you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh man, these. Soon a particular Leo Femme, high vibrational Leo Femme, is about to have a lot of people come in and in, into her life soon. Soon, 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 soon and quickly. Some, they're huge ass manipulators. You're going to thwart them away. For some, they're not. It'd be smart for whoever this, for who this is for. You've been bullied, harassed, and gang stalked and retaliated against in the past. It'd be smart to trust the ones not in your community. Know this. Some of them, some of them, some are manipulators too. Use your best discernment. Okay, whoa. Okay, Leo. So, um, you have been bullied, harassed, retaliated against in the past. Uh, targeting, I'm feeling too. Um, by people in your community, if this resonates. Um, soon, I heard people in your community and outside your community are about to start rushing into you. So, rushing in quick. Quick, like bees. Fast, 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 like bees. Ba bees don't play, man. They go fast. I mean, they go fast, and that's just the damn truth. Um, hell, I've never been a bee, but in the life of a bee, I'd help. I'm assuming you gotta go fucking fast, and that's just the truth. Um, but whoever this is for, um, they're about to come in fast. For some, I heard the ones in your community, they're gonna try to manipulate you. I heard it wouldn't be smart. Basically, it'd be smart to basically thwart them away. Um, they, I think they were part of the gang stalking, the bullying, harassing, the targeting, etc., etc., etc. In the past, they don't want to admit they were. They don't want to admit their fault in the past, but yet they want, I heard they want to use you, They, but they, yet they want something from you. Now, they had no problems and no qualms, bullying, harassing, targeting, targeting, gang stalking, harassing you in the past, beating you down in the past, but now they want to help you? That doesn't make sense. I heard be smart, use your best discernment and basically push them away, but of course, only you use your best discernment and your best logic and you do what's best for you, okay? That's for... The ones in your community, the ones outside your community, I heard they're going to come in quick, quick, quick too. So I'm thinking this might be text, this might be phone call, this might be messenger, this might be a letter in the snail mail. It might be to your home. Only you know how this is going to play out in your life than anybody else. But for some of you guys, it's going to be people outside your community too with the B energy. Quick, 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 quick. B energy. Fast. This is um, but however that resonates, um, I heard some of these people are my huge ass manipulators too. So you're going to have to use your best discernment with some of them, but some are not. So the ones outside your community sounds like they're okay, but you got to still use your best discernment because some of them aren't and some are. So whoever you are, I feel you're very smart and um, intellectual and you've got good discernment. It sounds like you're going to need it because you're about to have a shit ton of people coming at you inside your community and outside your community very soon here, Leo. Like bees. I heard it wouldn't be smart to trust the ones in your community. The one in your community leader that's about to help you, this one you can trust, but you will intuitively know it when you come across this person soon. The other ones you cannot. Okay, so the one, the leader... You're the elk energy you're about to come across soon in your uh in your community soon so this person is in your community i heard they're a leader in your community a very high position of authority i heard you're about to come across them soon in some situation soon leo i heard you can trust them so you can trust them and i heard intuitively you're going to know you can trust this person so your intuition when you come across this person whoever this person is they're a very high position of authority i think that 
I, I'm not sure who they are. You have to plug this person into your own life, how they resonate. Um, how are they? I feel it could be a manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, or a um, investigator, or a judge, or a um, or something of that nature, um, or a. Um, I'm trying to think of what else they could be. Or an activist or something like that. I mean, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm just giving you examples. They're very high position, high authority in your community. Um, but I heard you're going to come across them soon. I heard once you come across them soon, you're going to intuitively know you could trust them. So they're not out to screw you. Um, they built their own wealth, their own stability. They have no reasons to screw you, um, sir or ma'am. Um, they're truly going to help you. But you're going to, you, with your intuition, you're going to know they're not going to try to screw you, basically. They are going to help you, that one person in your community. But everybody else that's about to come swarming at you like damn bees, like bees on honey, it might be after this meeting with this person, possibly for some. For some, I intuitively feel it might be. For some, it may not be. But however that resonates, people are going to start, now they're going to want to come towards you. Now they're going to want to come towards you. Now they're going to want to come towards you. Now. But I heard it wouldn't be smart for the people in your community. They screwed you over in the past, left you out to dry, left you out to suffer, left you out to um, fend for yourself. It wouldn't be smart. But the ones outside your community use your best discernment. So you plug it in how it resonates. They're going to come at you fast like bees. Like bees on honey. Bees on shit. Um, sorry, but just being for real. Angel of Strength. A Leo is about to have lots of strength and lots of motivation soon. They're about to get a very, 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 very substantial financial income soon. It is about to light a huge fire under their ass. They're about to get a lot done soon and quickly. Oh, that's beautiful. So uh, Leo's about to get a large financial stream coming in soon. Um, it sounds like you didn't get it; you didn't have it in the past, but you're about to get it soon, sir, ma'am. Um, I think you were left out in the cold. I think you were bullied, harassed, targeted, gang stalked, etc., etc., etc. In the past, and now you're somehow you're about to get a very large income stream. It sounds like it's going to be monthly or bi-monthly or what have you, what have you. I didn't hear the facts on that. If it was Bi-weekly, monthly, bi-monthly, I don't know. But somehow you're going to get a large income stream coming in soon. Uh, it sounds like you didn't have it in the past, and you're about to get it soon. And it's about to light a huge fire under your ass. I heard you're about to have, take on lots of strength and courage and desire, drive, and motivation. Your current fire sign, your fire sign energy, Leo. And you're going to get a lot done. So I think you're going to use the money in positive ways. For some, you could invest it. For some, you could... Renovate your home like I'm about to start doing as soon as I get the funds up to do it um, so I can move out of state or whatever it is you're about to do. I don't think you're going to spend it on partying, going to the club, uh, taking Instagram pics of your boobs four inches high with stiletto heels on. I think you're actually going to invest it in smart ways is what I feel. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, Leo. Heart, love, deep affection, and caring. A very significant phone call to a very important person that someone you someone you would have never expected about to make this phone call is about to change your life in very positive ways. For one of you, it's a fire sign. For one, it is a um, air sign. Okay, Leo. So a very significant. Now this is this is not you. This is behind the scenes. You don't know this is about to happen. This is someone behind the scenes about to do this for you. For one, it's an air sign. For one, it's a fire sign, fellow fire sign. They can have Aries Leo sides or um, 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midheim, and Jupiter charts. But I heard behind the scenes, so you're, they're not going to tell you they're doing this. They're going to do this behind the scenes, behind your back, but it's in a positive way for you. Heard they're about to make a very, very, very important phone call, but I heard it's going to change your life in a very important way. So um, they care about you. They, um, I, I don't think this is obsessive, creepy, lurkery, stalkery energy. I think this is true caring and affection here. Um, I think they truly do care and they want what's best for you. And they're about to make a phone call behind the scenes to help it happen is what I think. That's exactly what I think from the spiritual downloads. So they truly do care. It's not like a stalker, lurker, um, obsessive thing. It's a, I, hey, I truly care for this person. I know something that's happened or I know it could help. And they're about to call behind the scenes to, to make it happen. So um, that's healthy. That's healthy right there. That's healthy energy so you could be in a relationship with this person or not but you don't i mean it doesn't matter whether you are or aren't they have they care enough to make this phone call to make this happen for you it's going to create many 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 positive series of time events for you many it's going to create basically a crap ton of positive series of time events for you so um that's beautiful leo if that resonates for you I think they're about to have lots of strength to do this. Whoever this air sign and this other fire sign is, I think they're, they're about to have lots of strength to do it. And I think they're about to do it quickly with the B energy. Quick, quick, quick. Zah. Eagle triumph over troubles and obstacles. Leo is about to receive life-changing information. Life-changing information is going to change the game soon. Leo is about to receive life-changing information soon. It's about to change the game soon. So triumph over troubles and obstacles. Um, you're about to receive some kind of life-changing information. It's about to change the game soon. So triumph over troubles and obstacles is basically triumphing over some kind of troubles and obstacles. It's about to change the game in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, you plug it in how it resonates there, Leo. That's really beautiful, sir, ma'am. Read sorrow over a loss. An overdose is about to become very significant. For one, it's about a Leo about to overdose. For one, it's alcohol poisoning. For one, it's a Leo about to have alcohol poisoning. For one, it's not a Leo. Okay. A uh, Leo is about to overdose and a, uh, for, uh, as I'm assuming illicit drugs, for one. For one, it's a Leo about to have al experienced alcohol poisoning so they are about to drink themselves into a bottle or a keg or a shot way too many times to the point their body is about to be basically poisoned from the inside out of too much alcohol consumption basically um that's that's at least two leos in the universe but um uh, for some of you guys it's not a leo so you are leo about to see somebody else about to overdose or you are leo about to see somebody else basically about to drink themselves into a keg or a bottle or a, a shot glass or what have you, what have you. Um, sorrow over a loss, I think you're going to be sorrowful. I think you like this person. Or um, for some, I think you might party with them. And I'm just being for real. I'm too old to party. I never party anyways. But um, I think you might um, have partied with some of these people. And I'm just being for real. I don't know how old you are and whatever you do in your life. But um or not. I'm not sure. For some, it could be a family member, a friend, a neighbor, a co-worker, what have you, what have you. But um, you plug it in how it resonates. For some, it is a celebrity. For some, it is a celebrity. Oh, shit. So for some, they're celebrities and for some, they're not. Um, and I've been pulling in a lot of celebrity drug use. Celebrity drug use, basically. Which is, yikes. Um, these people make 
I just want to say real quick, these people make millions upon millions upon billions upon billions upon billions of fucking dollars and millions. And yet they go out in freaking wherever the hell they live, California, Calabasas, where, I mean, I think Calabasas is in California, but what have you, what have you, making all this big ass money and they are supposed, they are the future, the people, the people look up to on the TV and they're over there shooting up and snorting up and that's how people were supposed to be? What? No. Nay, 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 nay. Just saying, just saying. Hail to the fucking no. And that's the truth. So sorrow over a loss. Uh, some celebrities about to pass away. Some it's um, uh, not celebrities. For some it's Leo's about to pass away. One, at least one in the universe from overdose. At least one from a uh, alcohol poisoning. For some of you Leos, you're about to see somebody else about to shoot themselves up one too many times, snort themselves up one too many times, drink themselves up one too many times. How that resonates, Leo? M music industry is about to become very significant in Leo's life. And an STD, a Leo has gained from a boss. Hospital. Oh, that's disgusting. So the music industry is about to be significant in one Leo's life. And a Leo has gained an STD from a boss. And I heard hospital. So, ew, that's nasty. So one of you Leos, you it sounds like you slept with your boss. It sounds like you've already done it in the energetic space. And it sounds like you both work at a hospital, or you both did. Um, and you have gained an STD from your boss. Well, yikes. Just saying, just saying, Leo. It's all the choices we make here. That's disgusting. You plug it in, how it resonates. All right, I love you guys. Everybody have a wonderful day. I hope this helped. If you think anyone else would like it, please share my channel. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. Love y'all. Namaste.